You're one step closer to saving a precious life. Every year in Australia, more than 600 people receive a blood stem cell transplant in an effort to cure their blood cancer or other life-threatening disease and hopefully save their life. While almost a third of these patients find a matching donor within their families, nearly 70% rely on the donor registry to find their match, which we couldn't do without you. Here at Stem Cell Donors Australia, we work with amazing people like you who are happy to donate stem cells to people who genuinely need it. Your gift could mean the world to them and their family. Now that you have spoken to a donor support coordinator and you have been identified as a potential match, there are a few things we need to talk you through. Matching a patient to the right donor is a meticulous process and the patient's medical team must consider several donor characteristics to make the right choice. There are often multiple donors identified as a potential match for a single patient and all donors must be reviewed in detail before a decision can be made. Sometimes, however, you might be the only donor that potentially matches the patient. This is called the verification testing stage. Your donor support coordinator has already contacted you to explain the verification testing process in detail. In case you missed anything, this video will provide a rundown of what happens so you feel comfortable and well informed. If you have yet to confirm you were willing to donate, please do so as soon as you can. As you can imagine, the patient needs certainty as quickly as possible. And if you are unsure, now is the time to withdraw. Once you've decided to go ahead, you'll receive an in-depth health questionnaire to go through. You may notice that some of the questions are quite personal or intimate in nature, concerning areas such as sexual history, drug use, and certain disorders or diseases that you currently or previously have suffered from. While these questions may seem intrusive, it's essential that we get a complete understanding of your health and risk profile to protect the recipient of your donation and keep you safe if you go on to donate. Every question must be answered in full, and we ask that you please be as honest as possible. Once we have your completed health questionnaire, we will review your answers and provide a complete report to the patient's medical team. Rest assured that this report will be completely anonymous. It will not include your name or any identifying information about you, and it will only be used to assess your suitability to donate to this one particular patient. We respect your privacy and take this very seriously. If you want to know more about our privacy policy, please refer to our website. If we're satisfied that no major issues or risks rule you out from donating, then great. The next step involves providing some blood samples. These samples are tested to confirm that you really are a match for the patient and you don't have any underlying health issues or infectious diseases that could pose a potential problem. You might be asked to attend a lifeblood donor centre to have your samples taken. In this case, you may also consider making a blood donation while you're there. If you do, please be aware that you should only donate plasma. This is because if you were selected to donate your blood stem cells, your red blood cells will help you bounce back, so you want to keep these for now. Donating plasma will involve completing another questionnaire for lifeblood to keep, and the results of the blood tests you have for Stem Cell Donors Australia will also be shared with lifeblood. Once we've received your blood test results, we will add these to the report sent to the patient's medical team. It's then up to them to determine which donor to select to provide the blood stem cell donation for their patient. Sometimes this decision will be made within days. However, keep in mind that sometimes this decision can take several months as the patient's team will often be waiting for results from several other blood donor matches or waiting for the patient to be well enough to receive their transplant before making a final call. Until the patient's medical team has made their decision, all that's left for you to do is wait and let us know if your circumstances have changed. For example, your contact details have changed, you've fallen pregnant or you are about to embark on a long trip. On average, a patient has around eight donor matches that will go through the verification testing stage, meaning that there is always a possibility that you will not be chosen to donate this time. But that's perfectly okay because it's all about giving the patient the very best chance of a life-saving outcome. If you are not chosen to proceed with the donation, you may feel disappointed. Know that you were still a critically important part of this patient's journey. Patients with multiple potential donors may feel more reassured and confident that they have the best medical options available. Regardless, we are all incredibly grateful that you put your hand up to help save another person, and you'll always be a legend in our eyes. And don't forget, you may match with another patient sometime in the future. If you are selected as the best match for the patient, we'll get in touch with you to talk you through the next stage, the workup appointment.
We'll also make sure that you're well informed about the process leading up to and following the day of your donation. We hope that going through the verification testing process is an exciting experience because of the very special reasons you're doing it. However, you're allowed to feel nervous. That's what we're here for, to support you throughout. We encourage you to ask plenty of questions and make sure that you feel comfortable with everything that's going to happen. For more information about your donation process, or if you have any further questions, please contact your donor support coordinator. From all of us at Stem Cell Donors Australia, thank you for taking these first few critical steps towards donating.